లోపల మనం మ్యాక్సిమం ముందుండి మనతో నాతో పాటు ఫ్యాకల్టీ మెంబర్స్ అందరూ ముందుండి నడిపించాలని కోరుకుంటూ ఈ అవకాశం ఇచ్చినటువంటి కళాశాల ఫ్యాకల్టీ అందరికీ తర్వాత ఐక్యూఎస్సి అండ్ సోషల్ సైన్సెస్ వారికి మనస్ఫూర్తిగా అభినందన తెలియజేస్తూ ముగిస్తున్నాను థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ బిఫోర్ అనిల్ సద్గోపాల్ సార్ విల్ స్పీక్ ఐ విల్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ హిమ్ his entire uh, public life has been for the last 5 decades uh, i'll just give a brief introduction about him uh, he had his education in 50s and 60s he had his education in birla vidya mandir nainital and st stephen's college delhi he obtained his masters degree in plant physiology from the indian agricultural research institute new delhi He did his PhD from California Institute of Technology, USA in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. He joined as fellow at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Bombay, where he had set up a tissue culture laboratory. He visited villages in remote areas of the country to understand them better. In the 1970s, he established Kishore Bharati, an NGO in India. Oshangabad district of Madhya Pradesh to work in the areas of health and agriculture as well as education. It promoted low cost irrigation techniques and worked to spread awareness of animal husbandry. It was recognized by United Nations Educational Program for its environmentally sound practices. SAR's work in school education began in 1970s with the Hoshangabad Science Teaching Program. This was a project which aimed to improve the teaching of science in grades 6 to 8 of government schools in Hoshangabad district. Initially, it ran a pilot project in 16 rural schools. The government of Madhya Pradesh adopted the program officially and extended it to all middle schools of Hoshangabad district. And during 80s, he established an institute known as Ekalavya, which dedicated to innovation in teaching, in education. He worked to secure justice for the Bhopal gas leak victims by setting up a struggle front, which sought to draw attention to the plight of victims by organizing conferences, rallies, etc. And 90s, during 1990s, Acharya Ramurthy Committee was constituted to review national education policy of 1986. Sar was nominated as one of the members. However, he resigned from the committee in protest against what he perceived as the government's backtracking on goal of universalization of elementary education. He researched and wrote a book on assassinated trade unionists Shankar Guha Niyogi in 1994. He joined the University of Delhi as professor of education. He was national convener of Bharat Janavignyan Jata and All India People Science Network. And in 2000s, he was also senior fellow at the Nehru Memorial Museum and Library. Sir was inducted as member of the Central Advisory Board of Education. KEB, the highest advisory body in the field of education. He was also the member of the committee which was to draft the RTE bill, Right to Education bill. In protest against the diluting provisions of the proposed act, he resigned from the committee. Since 2010, Sir has been involved in campaign to modify the RTE act and bring in common school system. He was one of the founders of the All India Forum for Right to Education, set up in 2009, and SAR is member of its presidium. I met him some 10 years back. Even though he looked so old, SAR was very active. For the last 10 years, I have been observing the way he moves is really inspiring. The way he speaks is really enlightening. Therefore, I request uh, Sadgopal sir to address the gathering. 